Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to host your own Minecraft 1.16 server on your Windows PC. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is open up our browser. Once you've opened up your browser, you want to navigate to the following URL, which is www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server. And once you're here, you're going to want to download the .jar file. Simply hover over it and left click. And let that download there. Alright, so our Minecraft server has been downloaded, however we have been greeted with this message here that says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep server.jar anyway? You're going to hit keep. This is just a precaution that Windows gives you because a lot of .jar files on the internet are malicious. However, in our case it's from Minecraft.net, so you can be rest assured that it isn't actually malicious. So we're going to hit keep. Right, so now we've got our server.jar file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder where the server.jar file is. So you're going to hit this arrow here, left click on it, and then go show in folder. Great, so there's our server file. Let's restore down here real quick, and let's minimize our browser. Great, so what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer our server.jar file from our downloads into a folder of its own on our desktop. So let's create a folder real quickly first. So right click on your desktop and then go new and go folder. Let's call this folder Minecraft server. Great, so we've got our folder now and we're just simply going to drag our server into the Minecraft folder. We won't need our downloads folder anymore now. Let's open up our Minecraft server and let's maximize it. Great, so now to run this server.jar file, we're going to need to use a command. And this command is going to be contained within a batch file. Now, where can we get this command? Well, simply go back to your browser here and go back to where you downloaded the server originally. And underneath it, you can see in purple here, a command. You're going to highlight the entire command here and you're going to right click copy. Great, so we've got our command. Let's minimize out of our browser here. Let's start by creating our batch file. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click in your Minecraft server folder and you're going to go new. And this time you're going to go text document. Once you've got your text document, you're going to have to choose a name. So I'm going to go with run command for Minecraft and hit enter. Great, and now you're going to double click on your text document and you're going to right click, paste inside your command. And now I'm just going to maximize this text document here and just tell you about the two parameters that you can change in this command. So the first parameter that you can change is of course the RAM. I'm just going to highlight the area where you need to change if you are going to play with the RAM. So if you're going to have you and a friend play on your server, then one gigabyte of RAM should be enough. Hence why it says 1024 and 102. Two, four. However, let's say you're going to have about, let's say, four people on your server, then you may consider raising your RAM for your server to two gigabytes, in which case you would change these two numbers here to 2048 and 2048 respectively. Great, so that's the RAM explained. Now it goes for the actual server name. So as you can see, the server name here in this command is Minecraft underscore server dot one dot one six dot one Dot jar. However, this isn't actually correct because the server we just downloaded from Minecraft.net is actually called server.jar. So let me just restore down here this document. And as you can see, the server is actually called server.jar. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to change the text document to server.jar. So let me just open up the text document once again and maximize it. So as you can see, the Minecraft underscore server dot one dot one six dot one dot jar we're going to need to delete everything prior to dot jar I'm just going to highlight this I'm going to hit the backspace button and then I'm going to replace it with server just the word server and it's going to be server dot jar and now what we're going to need to do instead of saving this as a text document we're going to need to save it as a batch file also abbreviated as dot bat file to do this, what you need to do is you need to go to File here on the top left hand side and you're going to need to go to Save As. 
Once you're here, you want to make sure that you're actually in your Minecraft server folder. And once you're there, where it says file name here, you're just going to want to add to your file name dot bat to the file name. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click save. And now you can simply X out of your text document here. And you can follow that up by actually deleting the text document as you won't be needing it anymore. And now you're just left with your batch file that you just created. Great, so now we've got our batch file, which contains our command. And now to simply run our server, all we need to do is double click on our batch file here. So I'm just going to double click on it and then let the magic happen. So your command prompt will open, executing the command within the .batch file. Once the command has been executed, you just need to give it some time here. Once that command file has ran, it will not have completely ran first time round, as there will be some files generated that you will need to alter for it to fully run. As you can see, we have a couple of files here generated, which is the logs folder and the ULA text document and the server.properties. Now what we'll be altering to enable the command to fully run our server is the EULA text document. So what you're going to need to do is double click on the EULA text document here. And what you're going to need to do is simply change the EULA equals false to EULA equals true. So all you need to do is highlight the false section, delete it, and then change it to true. And then all you need to do is go File, Save. And you can close out of this ULA text document here. Once you've closed out, all you need to do is run the batch file again. So double click on your batch file again. This will bring up the command prompt and execute the command contained within that batch file. This time, the command will fully execute. So please give it some time as this can take a good few minutes. I'm just going to bring this down here just to show you that a few other files will be generated in the folder. I'll show you that once it's fully run. All right, guys, so you'll know your server is running once you receive the message here that says done. Now, there is one thing I need to tell you is that you cannot actually close out of this command prompt window, because if you close out of this command prompt window, you will actually switch off the server. So my recommendation is, is just to simply minimize this window here when you want to enter in game. Now, before we actually minimize this command prompt window and connect to our Minecraft server, we'll probably need to give ourselves operator. To do this, what you'll need to do is simply type op into the command prompt space followed by our username. So my username is Yas Putin, and then hit enter. And now, as you can see, you'll get a message from the server which says made Yasputin a server operator. And now our character in game has op. And if you want to give anybody else operator, you can actually do it within game now. So we won't actually need to enter a single command into this command prompt window here. So now we can minimize it and minimize this window here. And you can launch Minecraft. Now, I have already launched Minecraft just to speed up this video. And I'm just going to click on the window itself here. Once you've loaded up Minecraft, hit multiplayer here. And then what you'll need to click on is add server. Give your server a name. So I'm just going to leave it as Minecraft server. And in the server address, you can enter one of two things. The first thing you can enter is zero to connect to your own server. So just the number zero. Or you can enter local host and this will also connect you to your own server for me i like to connect to my own server by entering the number zero so that's what we're going to do here zero and then what you're going to hit is done once you've done that this will add your server to the play multiplayer menu and as you can see minecraft will ping our server and show us our connection status and the number of people connected to the server currently because this is a fresh server there is nobody currently connected but we're going to be the first one here so left click on it and hit join server give it a few seconds as it's the first time logging into the server and your world has just been freshly generated 
And there you go, guys. Welcome to your newly created and personal hosted server. Now, let's say you wanted your friends to connect to your server. Well, they can't simply connect to your server by typing in zero into the server address or localhost. They'll actually need to connect to your IP address. To do this, let me just alt tab out of Minecraft here. So you might not actually know what your IP address is. And to find out what your IP address is, simply head over to google.com and then type in the search box, what is my IP address? And then hit enter. And Google will give you your IP address here. Now I'm going to blank this out for my own personal privacy. And this IP address or this combination of numbers is what you'll give to your friends so that they can join your server. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so